I want to start tonight by speaking over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever is required for your rising in this season, I call upon the God of heaven. May he make it available for you. May he make it available for you. The wisdom needed, let it be yours. The help needed, let it be yours. The access needed, let it be yours. The influence needed, let it be yours. The grace needed, let it be yours. The courage needed, let it be yours. In the name of Jesus, every force that keeps you down goes down for your sake. Every force attempting to keep you down goes down for your sake. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over your life, go forward. Go forward. Make progress. Go forward. Make progress. I say it again, go forward. Make progress. Shame and reproach is far from your life. Stagnation is far from your life. Let it be clear that the hand of God is upon you. Let it be clear that the wisdom of God is upon you. Let it be clear that the favor of God is upon you. Let it be clear that you have become Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus, men will look at your life and they will learn God. They will look at your life and they will desire to know Him. They will look at your life and turn away from evil. They will look at your life and press for righteousness. They will look at your life and love the things of God. In the name of Jesus, tonight receive beauty for ashes. I say it again, receive beauty for ashes. In the name of Jesus, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You will be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that you would be glorified through your life. May strangers feed your flock. Gentiles come to the brightness of your rising. Even their kings to the brightness of your rising. I speak to you again, arise and shine. Arise and shine by the spirit of the living God. For in Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray just two prayers and we're done. Prayer point number one. Father, I receive your light. Go ahead and pray. I receive your light. High level spiritual illumination. The light that will transform superior thoughts, superior ideas, superior beliefs. Someone pray one minute. Sabalika parakatoskiata. Embrakata beleke paruska vrenda beresko balesh. Egrapakata barondos kobrenda beleke pariata. Jabraka paradeke bereko tosiata. Light in the name of Jesus. Light in the area of my finances. Light in the area of my spiritual life. Light in the area of my career. Light in the area of family and relationships. Light in the area of leaderships and my pursuit. I receive light by the Spirit. Light beyond the influence of culture. Light beyond the influence of my background. Light beyond the influence of my limitations. Someone pray. You may be born in Nazareth, but you don't need to carry the mindset of the Nazarenes. You can carry the mindset of he that has come from above. Because he that comes from above is above all. You are a Nigerian, a proud one at that, but carry the mindset of a global giant. Carry the mindset of one who has come from above, through Nigeria, above, through Nigeria, above, through Nigeria, above, through Africa. You are an agent of change, an agent restoring righteousness, an agent restoring order within your system. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, final prayer, pray this with all your heart, the discipline to partner with God as he seeks to transform me, that will be your next prayer and final prayer tonight, the discipline, it is not a gift, transformation is not a gift, there is no gift of transformation in the Bible, there is a labor dimension to transformation. What God does is to give you the enabling grace. Go ahead and pray everybody. Transformation. 
The discipline, pray. The discipline to learn the principles of wealth, not just to assume it. The discipline to learn how ministry works. The discipline to learn how leaders become people of influence. The discipline to learn how spiritual growth happens. The discipline to learn how the anointing comes, how it increases. Hallelujah. Let me speak over your life. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. 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 Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. One more time. Listen, there is a mentality that when you have by grace, you will never be poor. It doesn't matter what happens. It's not pride. The energy that leaves from you will edit everything that will bring you poverty. And if anything happens in your life that looks like poverty, is God's law. It will send a signal to the spirit. This kind of mindset should not be in lack. Men and systems will realign themselves until you bounce back. It's a law. Increase is a mindset. When you understand the mindset of increase, then the grace for increase comes. Listen, grace is come in honor to mindsets. Grace is come in honor to beliefs. Never forget this. Grace is come in honor to mindsets. Don't just look for graces. Find out the mindset that the graces are looking for. There is a kind of mindset that when you have, even before you pray for the grace, it would have arrived. Because the mindsets are magnets. It is true. There are things I began to experience in my life before intentionally praying for them. I focused on transformation. And the, the power, the force that was exerted, my God, you want to see magnetic power? Have a superior mindset and see what it will draw to you. It will draw a helper from the ends of the earth and bring it to your house. Everybody to help you is around and everybody to destroy you is around. Your mindset selects them and permits them to come or selects them and keeps them far from you. The power of God does not just function arbitrarily. There are people who have a mindset of life. No matter what death does, it will not kill them. Their mindset will forbid them to die. You believe me when I tell you this. There are people who have gone through things you will never imagine. There was a mindset of life. If the mindset was not there, God would not say choose life. Choose life means you can choose wealth. Choose wealth means you can choose excellence. Choose excellence means you can choose growth. As for me, I have taken time by the Spirit of God to sit down and write a list of things that I want to see and a list of things that will go. So when I say Satan go away, I don't just pray a carnal childish prayer. As I drive him, I also remove the mindset that attracts him to me. When you say poverty go, you have to receive the mindset that ejects poverty thinking. So that the next time it comes, like Jesus, you will say, Satan come to me. Limitations come to me. Challenges come to me. But there was nothing in me that could attach itself to them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I have brought your counsel to your people. <laughs> that there is a journey beyond new birth. It's a journey with the ministry of light. And that the light of God is able to build us, to build our minds and position us for liberty and victory. I pray for you. 
every mindset that you need to have may you begin the journey of getting it by the spirit and hear me if there is anything you have attracted to your life trouble failure tragedies causes knowingly or unknowingly you use your mindset to partner with evil for your destruction let mercy speak for you now 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 therefore i prophesy upon you rise to a new level don't reject it rise to a new level may your spiritual life scale to a new height let the power of the holy ghost rest upon you i speak favor upon you i call you victorious i call you blessed i call you favored i call you honored by god when men say there is a casting down for you there will be a lifting up i declare that kings will look for you nobles will look for you captains of industry will look for you in the name of jesus christ regardless your background i empower you to excel what your father could not do go ahead and do it what your mother could not do go ahead and do it the limitations that came with where you are coming from i cut it away from your life the discipline to be transformed receive the grace for it wave your hands to jesus he said the grace that makes ease that makes things happen easily please you don't have to kneel in the name that is above all names that name ebenezer let it speak over your life let me tell you hardship is not a good thing oh don't don't ever embrace it it, it can interrupt many useful things in your life i pray that this grace that came from the throne routed through the the patriarchs and the matriarchs in this city that makes for ease i stretch my hands may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ I pray for you the grace that brings encounters to a man please be sensitive and pray now you don't have to bring anyone under the anointing outside we don't have that time but in the name of Jesus I am praying there is a grace that draws men and really helps them to see an unfolding of deep things in the spirit I release that grace upon you now I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic and I declare I speak to the two lift gates of your destiny be open now be open now be open now be open now be open now, be open now. the Bible says and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah Kadis Kobradishia Kanabalakatosiata and he overtook the chariots of Israel. I want to release a grace for speed. Just help those under the anointing. Father, by the grace of God, I declare. I don't know how it has been before now, but I declare speed. Take that grace now. Speed in your life. Speed in your destiny. Help them, please. Speed in your family overflows outside speed speed in the name of jesus the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon i prophesy to the north the south the east and the west everywhere the helpers of your destiny are positioned i command them to appear now help them I command them to appear now
because thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity the bible says therefore god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows i decree and declare the grace that distinguishes may that grace rest mightily upon you hallelujah i was preaching in Rogic and i please permit me to honor the woman of god pastor mrs bimbo Ekweme. god bless you we truly honor you thank you apostle goodheart couldn't make it he traveled but listen while i was preaching there at the conference i was studying and the spirit of god told me to pray for the grace upon the people the grace for visibility believe me people of god let me tell you being gifted is one thing but there is a grace that gives you visibility the bible says john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing there are many gifts listen some of you are in ministry you truly are gifted some of you are in business like dr stanley prophesied over you but it looks like the gate and the revelation came from acts chapter 12 that the bible says how that they bound peter and prayers were going on by the church and the bible says an angel came loose his chain brought him out of the first gate out of the second gate he says he came to an iron gate that opened up to the city there is a gate that opens a man to the city in the name of jesus i decree and declare the gate that must be open for your influence for your gift for your product to find expression receive that grace now hallelujah the bible says certain men came to david in the cave of adulam even though they met him hiding they bound themselves with a covenant to help him that he must become king let me tell you this no matter how great you are your exploits is predicated on the quality of the people that believe in you and stand by you no matter how anointed you are the gift of men is a grace that God can bring faithful men faithful men father where are the people who must show up over someone's destiny someone's ministry wherever they are by the spirit we call them into your life now hallelujah listen it's one thing for people to believe you be conscious of what you are receiving but it's another thing for people to stand up and bless you the bible says god restored the captivity of job job 42 verse 10 and he says his friends came and everybody came with a bag of money when saul met samuel he said on your way back you will find three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give it to you there is a real grace for favor Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her Exodus 3 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians it shall come to pass that as you go you shall not go empty I decree and declare the kind of favor required to accelerate your life I declare may that favor rest upon you whatever has destroyed your prayer life that it has gone down the grace to pray the grace to fast completely gone right now fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar the grace to intercede the grace to pray the grace to wait upon the lord the grace to create changes in prayer receive that grace in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord 
the Bible says and Jacob dug a well and the Philistines came and covered it he dug another well they covered it he dug the third one and they left him he called it Rehoboth he said God has given me my own space there is a grace for territory where the your portion in a land is kept and left for you in the name of Jesus wherever your portion is in this land I stand in partnership with the grace upon the fathers in this land and I declare that you locate that which is yours in the name of Jesus Christ now in the name of Jesus Christ we're wrapping up I want to pray for the grace that draws the ministry of the Holy Spirit to him listen we are made by our fellowship with him this one there is a strong grace that will come on you I want you to believe it there is a grace and embracing to wait to stay until you are furnished until you are made in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands from the front to the back, the left to the right, everyone who must carry this grace. Father, call people, call people into dimensions of intimacy. Call people, receive that grace. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit is a fire that is resting on you. Receive that grace. Help them please, receive that grace the overflows outside receive that grace you will never be the same i release you with a hunger for spiritual things in the name of jesus christ there is the spirit of revelation access is a fellowship into the mystery you are called it's not just something you study you are called into the fellowship of this mystery and as much as the Lord has shown us mercy and helped us I stretch my hands there are people who must drink of that grace I stretch my hands access to depths revelations of the spirit carry that grace now carry that grace in the name of Jesus carry that grace in the name of Jesus Carry that grace in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Anyone here appointed to death, that death is following you, following your family members, I stand by the God of heaven, we declare cancel now. Cancel now. Cancel now. Adonai 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 Shibala balala bakora da balada ba Zibron dogo balaka press ke bata balada baka ta prada gade balade bos Zikete bakari ada baranda basko prondo go basti bai Stebele de baka da prande gade balada bara gada balaka soto boko to prande kete Zikete gade baka da prada gade balada ba Go ahead and pray in tongues Edify your spirit Zaka prata kata bala da baka ta prata kata bala da baka so prata kotosh. Zaka ta bara bata bala da baka ta prata kata bala da bos. Mam prata kata prata kata kata bala da baka to pras ke bala. Zaka ta bala da bos. Eka ta pros ke bala de kene bariya ta bariya da baba baba baba. 
Shokoto baka preka tabela na baus. Enkra kaka tade koso posi mada katai. Shaka tara kato skopo to goto pros ke bala na ba. Meka ne bas ke priya na bala na bas ke prodo shubai. Raba dega ne bala na ba goto fraga na bala na bas. Aparete ba goto pros ko brandi ke ne bas. Lega te pros ko bandi kres ke bala ke te. So proto koto preka te bala na ba ke te pa. So to boko to freke te le boko to prende ke te. Sega dega dega de bala na boko so to prega na bala na boko sende ke te be ke te bras kapada. Saka ta ba kapara ta ba. Saka ta ta ba ka ta ba 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 ba. Saka ta ko so to boko so ba ka ta bala na bas. Mente prata ka ta prake te ke te be ke te. Lende ko so to boko to prende ke te. Ekra ta ka si ke te le ko to boko to prega na ba ba ba. Make the cross go to the cattle get there. Make the bread to get the cross go cross go by. Raga da ba le get the bread to get the ba la da ba. Make the bread to go bread to go to bush. Make the bread to get the bread to get the ba get there. Make the cross go ba 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 ba. Pray, 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 pray. Build your spirit. Make intercessions. Let the cross go ba ta ba la da ba. Make contact with heaven. Like a tosco broad kabash kabareta koska dabai. Rise through prayer. Le bronze kabosh zabal ke bronze kabariata. Make a tosco balaba daba dakatai. Seka tele bronze supratia dabash. Take charge over the heavenlies. Send the bronze kibati kata 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 kata. Seka kata 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 pala dabash. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Shoto to koto pro koto pala do pro koto fresh. Deke tebe li kwati abalabat. I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication. Makata pro kata para kate. Shaka tebe kata pro koto pro kosa kate. Shaka te re kate makapos kambati. Ekra kate 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 pro kate pala do pro koso to pro koto pro kate kate. Makapa koto so pro koto balaba. Mente prata kata lekete boska, emprot ke boska bande ke boska baska, lekete boko so proto koto pakete, mekete protis ke baria da baska emprot ke bos, ekrata tata boko to proms ke ba 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 ba, lekete boko rasi ke te bala da ba, shekete pros ku bari ke te, zinde ke te lekete ba 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 ba. Come on, pray, Koinonia. Sika teke te ba 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 ba. Sika tele ba kapron se pata katai. Sika tele ba kata ba 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 ba. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Don't be tired. This is part of the meeting. This is koinonia. Bala bala boso produce bala bala. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There's an army. There's an army rising up. 
Don't break every chain. Lift your hands, everyone. Sikapatatabaladaba. Lift your hands. Sikaparente kabaladaba shikatai. Mande krada la pako prondus kubali kariada. Zete parata parikatai. Zekata reposu kotoi. Shikelepo sataya. Keep your hands lifted up. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to be touching men, touching women. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back. The power of the Holy Ghost. That's what happens when we worship. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is breaking limitations. The Lord is breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Hallelujah. 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 Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. We are going to pray in tongues. Listen. Within these five minutes... There will be a bursting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer. Trust me. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the Spirit. The Bible says, while they prayed, the Holy Ghost said unto them, Separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord, as we pray tonight, let there be impartation, let there be openings. Openings of portals, openings of vessels. Pray, pray. So to get take pakata. Bambra take it poko so prekete. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Kete baka pratekete. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Spiritual doors are opening. Spiritual doors are opening. I see spiritual doors opening. Spiritual doors are opening. Access, access, access. Access is being given to men. Access to deep spiritual things. Access, access is being given to men. Oh, 
Access in the spirit. Access in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. He told Jacob, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. Rakata protokoto polodo bos, shakata kata, rakata pakoto bos, manta prata kata, lekata proskoto prokotos, embrakata ba 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 ba. Come on, lift your voice and pray. There's an army They are rising up They are rising up Lift your hands everyone Lift your hands There are some devils that need to leave this place right now Hallelujah Listen, listen, listen God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now 
every service is miracle service are you getting my point now we are going to shout that name Jesus my goodness I am telling you major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs breakthroughs the symbol hallelujah at the count of three I want you to shout that name I command every devil and every spirit every act of witchcraft and divination in the name of Jesus and at the count of three they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return are you ready now one two three I cause devils now I cause spirits now I cause spirits every wicked spirit out of God's people out of every family now I break spells I break witchcraft I break the power of divination bring them out bring them out I cost that power it's not just them families they are families I set fire 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 upon altars I set fire I set fire upon Lift your hands again. God is visiting families. This is not about you. All the people here are representing families. Lift your hands. Oh, the fire of God must fish them out. There is no hiding for any spirit. At the count of three, you will shout that name at the top of your voice. And a sword of the spirit will go to your family. There must be deliverance tonight. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, they are representing their families. God is stepping into families. Those doors must be open. I see ancient gates in the spirit. Ancient gates. And I'm about to command them to open. Listen. When I command those gates to open, those affected, you will feel it physically. These are the gates that cause limitations over people and families. But in the name that is above all names, I come tonight under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. Advancement. 
I command you be open. I command you be open. Any family, lift your hands that is tied down by any kind of limitation. I don't care what it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else in this place, this is the mount of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be 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 open now. By the force of the Spirit, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. Self them in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout it, shout it. Self them in the name of Jesus. I declare that every force stopping the advancement of my family. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Live now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. You must be open now In the name of the Lord Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah